Welcome back. Let's talk about survey information. We all know that survey information comes in a variety of formats. It can either be a CAD file, a scanned image, a PDF, or even a hand-drawn sketch. The process of importing this information to SketchUp is a little different depending on what you're working with, but it's relatively simple nonetheless. Let's start with importing a CAD file. This is the easiest and most accurate method to import survey information. However, most CAD surveys contain a wealth of unnecessary information and multiple layers that we just don't need clogging up our SketchUp file. That's why I like to save a version of the CAD file like this beforehand and do a cleanup, deleting all the bits I don't want and putting everything on three or four layers. If you don't have access to CAD editing software, you might be able to ask the surveyor to supply a simplified version of the survey with just the site boundary, contour lines and major features on. If not, don't worry, it'll still work just fine. SketchUp will automatically remove a lot of things like text and dimensions and hatching anyway. Okay, so once you've hopefully got a nice clean CAD file, let's bring it in. Simply go to File, Import. Now you'll have to click on this Options button here to bring up the file format choices. Let's set that to AutoCAD files .dwg .dxf. We also want to click on this configure option here. And the, what I want to draw your attention to is the scale. This is about the scale that the original CAD file was drawn in as compared to the scale that you're modeling in. So I'm in Australia, I'm in a metric system and I'm modeling in millimeters. But I know that my surveyor who produced this CAD file works in meters. So I've selected meters from this drop down and click OK. What this means is that SketchUp will resize the drawing accordingly to suit the current model. If you don't know what scale the drawing was drawn in, don't worry. You can always double check dimensions once the drawing's imported and then scale it accordingly. And I'll show you how to do that with a PDF in a moment. So once I've got everything set up, I'll select the file that I want to use and click Import. You'll see a summary of what's been imported, etc. Don't worry about that too much. So here's my CAD drawing. You'll also notice in your tags or layers dialog that the layers that were present in the CAD file have also come in. So I've got one here called text, one called contours, one called trees. Now for me, I find this can be quite confusing, especially when I've got my own layers with similar names. So what I like to do is if I just select each of these layers by holding down shift and go to the minus symbol to delete those tags i get the option to move them to the current tag so that's the untagged layer or layer zero and if i go to delete all that information is still there but it's now untagged so it just keeps things nice and clean i want to just quickly check the scale of this drawing to make sure it was right now i know that this boundary here for example is 10 meters so if I use the tape measure tool by tapping T and select these points, that's pretty close. Okay. The other good thing about working with CAD files is that SketchUp is able to snap to points. When you're working with a PDF, obviously that's just a flat image. There's nothing to snap to. So it can be a little bit more complicated to do things accurately. Okay. Here is my site down here. The orientation should be correct because of the original CAD survey was drawn with north up the page. So if we use M for move or select the move tool from the toolbar, let's select the bottom corner of the site and move that into position. That looks about right. You'll see that these lines here, which relate to the adjacent building line up, we can always adjust this a little bit more later if we need to. The other thing I want to point out is that you'll notice that the CAD file comes in as a component, which is why it's highlighted in blue. And if you look at the entity info, it's currently just called CAD survey .dwg number three. So if we just call it CAD survey and let's put that on its own layer, which I've already created called 00 CAD. Okay. My layers turned off. A quick uh, aside here about layers. When you've got scenes already set up in SketchUp, by default, any new layer that you create is automatically turned on in every scene. 
at the moment we've only got one scene so that's not a big issue but when you get into more complex models and you've got a number of scenes each with their own settings this can be a little bit of a pain so what i use to get around this is a very simple free sketchup extension which is available from the extension warehouse and that's called auto invisible layer bear in mind that i use the word layer when i mean tags if i'm in sketch up 2020 or later so here it is here it's free so if you install this i've already got it installed when you go to extensions up here you'll see you've got this option if i open that it says auto invisible layer is turned off a newly created layer will be visible in your existing scenes again this means tags if you're in 2020 or later do you want to turn it on yes so any new layers that i create will therefore be by default hidden in every scene unless i manually turn them on you can toggle this on and off as required but you'll find this plugin to be very useful let's just turn that cad drawing off by turning its tag off for now and let's have a look at how we might import a pdf drawing we import the file in the same way as before by going to file import and this time we need to choose pdf from the drop down You'll notice that with a PDF, we're not able to configure the scale because obviously the file type doesn't contain that information. So I'll select the survey that I want to import and select import. And you'll see it comes in as an overlay. Once you place that roughly where you want it, don't worry too much about being accurate. Sketch will allow you to kind of scale it in place. Again, just kind of eyeball that roughly like so and there we have it the first thing to do is i want to put this on its own layer and i'm going to put that on this pdf layer it just allows me to toggle the various information on and off however i want okay so if we zoom in on this pdf you'll notice that it comes in quite kind of blurry and pixelated what i like to do is have another version of this pdf open on my machine so that i can read any text or dimensions that i might need to refer to now we need to scale this drawing so the first thing i want to do is just turn the satellite imagery off for the time being so that i've just got the pdf that i'm working with now to scale something in sketchup we need to make it into a group and sketchup won't allow you to make a group from just one entity so what i like to do is just to draw a rectangle over this plan by using the rectangle tool tapping r or using the icon over here and just quickly draw a rectangle over the plan now if i select the plan and the rectangle together i can right click make group let's put that on the pdf layer and let's just call that pdf survey so now if we double click this group to open it we can delete that rectangle that we don't need anymore and here we have our pdf to work with which is in its own group Find something on the drawing that you know the dimension of, such as a scale bar or a dimension or something. And this is where you might want to look at the PDF in another screen so that you can read the numbers. I know that this section of title boundary here is 10 meters. So I'm going to go with that because that's like a nice round number. Okay, so now select the tape measure tool or type T. And let's select these two points of the item that we know the dimension of. So the start and then the end. Now you'll notice down here that SketchUp gives you a prompt that says enter value to resize active group or component. What that means is I can type in the dimension that I want that to be, which is 10 meters. And if I press enter, SketchUp also warns me, do you want to resize the active group or component? I do, so I'm gonna click yes. And what that has done now is SketchUp has made it so that that thing that I measured is now 10 meters. Okay, it's important that you do this inside a group. Otherwise, you run the risk of resizing the whole model, which I'm sure you appreciate as the potential for disaster. Okay, the thing to do now is just to put our scaled PDF drawing in the right location. So we need to turn our satellite imagery back on. And you'll find now that that has obscured our PDF. This is just how SketchUp treats this location information. Don't worry about that too much. All we need to do is go to view, face style, and turn x-ray on. 
Alternatively, if you've got these icons up here available to you, just select the X-ray icon. And now we can see through our satellite imagery to our PDF beyond. With that selected, we'll just do the same process as before. Using the move tool, we can select the bottom corner of this site. And position it appropriately. Finally, we want to update the scene just to save this view. If you actually click on the scene, it will take you back to the previous view with all the various layers turned on. So with this scene selected in the scenes tab over here, if you're in a PC, it will be on this right hand side. If you're on a Mac, you're able to undock it and move it. With this scene selected, if we click on these arrows over here, you'll see update scene. Update. And now that view with those layers and those settings is saved. Alternatively, you can hover over the tab, right click, update. Okay, so now whenever we, whatever we have turned on, if we go back to top view, it takes us back to there where we were. So now we're ready to start drawing contours. See you in the next lesson.